Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for October 14th to the 20th. This is for Taurus, Taurus Rising and Taurus Moon and we're going to jump right into it Taurus. This is going to be a pretty significant week with Mars, the Sun and Pluto all in a kind of tangle. All right, I'm going to break it down for you, but uh, I'm also going to spend a little bit more time with you this week because there is a lot going on with these aspects and you know this is the week of the really big full super moon in Aries. Now, the first things first, I really just want, before I even get into it, this is a type of week with these type of energies where I don't want you to overextend yourself. I don't want you to overwork. I don't want you to, you know, overdo things because this type of, the type of aspects we're having this week, it can be a little bit draining. Okay. So, uh, please, 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 please cherry on top, avoid, you know, like doing anything that may cause like burnout energy. Okay. Because again, of these aspects. Now, the other thing is I really want you to pay attention to Monday to Thursday because Mercury, as you know, just moved into Scorpio. So we have that overlap with Venus and Mercury in Scorpio for the first four days. That is your seventh house. That's your opposite house. So partnerships, relationships, there could be something here. All right. You could be having like these really deep, intense conversations with partnerships, can be career, can be love, one-on-one -on -one commitments, uh, maybe even like reflections about it. Uh, even with Mercury and Scorpio, remember I said last week, it's kind of like that Mulder energy, like you know, for X-Files. So uh, really seeking your truth. There could be some truth being revealed that, you know, even you revealing some truth and, you know, being honest about things as well. But anyway, there, uh, you know, a lot of things here about with uh passion love money that it could be big themes for you in terms of what will you do for your journey moving forward okay because a lot of y'all are on these absolutely new journeys coming after this eclipse season and you'll see that you know your ruling planet venus is really active this week okay so a lot of y'all may be feeling a lot more invested in your passions and your goals and personal transformation this week as well all right so now monday we kick it off with a sun squaring mars uh you're pretty much going to feel this all month okay it's a strong aspect because the sun is squaring pluto as well and those are two very powerful planets also you will likely start feeling the mars pluto opposition that's happening in the beginning of november it's also a strong aspect that you again just may start feeling around now all right we'll talk about that more in november but just you know, with this type of energy it's really strong it's egos at play it's a lot of power plays it's you know authorities you know putting on their aviators like it's that time where it's also it can be draining remember mars and cancer alone is just like it can be a little bit draining right so have that breakthrough that you need always have those breakthroughs you see that we're going to have some uranus aspects um so the other thing is uh you may be doing a lot of internal work around this time as well because mars is going to be you know tangled up with chiron chiron being in aries so when i say internal work for you that may be like deeply rooted deeply rooted uh just going deep you know that is the 12th house it's the subconscious intuition being in touch with your intuition all right so this is also a week where again just i want you to like have a go with that slower energy right slow and steady ruins the race because mars is physicality okay mars is uh very competitive too brings out that competitive energy it's as if you are playing horse right with you know that one-on-one -on -one, you know basketball game like kids play with mars okay but mars is just all over you not letting you take that shot it you know so there can be a little bit of that aggressive side you see of mars remember mars being in cancer is your third house communication and up here intellect thinking logic researching writing so there could be things where maybe even something that you're learning that's new it's just like you're overstimulated, overthinking things that may be exhausting for you. So that's why I say just really have that slow, go with that slower energy. And Mars and Cancer is all about that emotional growth. All right. So just keep that in mind. A lot of people can feel, you know, sensitive around this time. Remember, emotions are definitely going to be heightened with these type of aspects. Now, the other thing is when I say that this is Mars squaring the sun. <laughs> The life force, right? Or the life force, uh, you know, purpose, all of that. So there definitely can be moments where, uh, you know, other people within your world, because 
emotions are going to be heightened, they may say things they don't mean to. There may be people that are fishing for arguments for no reason at all. So just remember, you are on a karmic journey. Don't let anyone, don't let anyone ever block your path, okay? Don't let anyone ever bring you into their low energy frequency. Do not let anyone ever take away your power. All right, Taurus? No, not today. Not today. Not any day. Because the sun squaring Mars, it definitely can, you know, test you spiritually as well. Just remember to be your authentic self uh, with all these emotions that may be running high. And the fact that Mars and Cancer is in your third house, it could also be you, where you feel tested, where you, you know, may say something that you're like, oh, I shouldn't have said that, right? So this is definitely a week where you may want to do some breath work if you feel that you need to yoga, take a walk, uh, you know, uh, at the park, all that stuff, all that good stuff. Be in touch with your higher mind. Focus on your path to enlightenment. All right, because Venus is going to be opposite Uranus this day. And listen, this is going to be a big day for you. Uranus is in your sign. All right, so Venus opposite Uranus. Here's the thing: you, uh, the fact that Venus is in Scorpio in your opposite sign, definitely something here with partnerships and relationships. For a lot of y'all, you may feel that. Okay, again, can be work career, it's a colleague, it can be love, significant other, but a lot of y'all may feel there could be some, you know, sudden moments, surprises, things that come out of the blue with relationships or just things that bring you pleasure or even intimacy, okay? Uh, finances as well, but on the flip side, hey, Venus is opposite Uranus and Uranus, you just never know with Uranus. So there could be, again, if you're vibrating at this high frequency, if you're working with these energies, hey, there could be some unexpected surprises that work in your favor that have to do with money or even creativity. You could even meet someone right around this time. And even you having this breakthrough, remember Uranus is all about breakthroughs, right? So there is potential for something to be very stimulating here. And if you do meet someone, don't get married within two hours. Just wait, <laughs> just wait. You don't want to, you don't want to like during a Venus, you know, like Uranus, opposition but it's okay to meet people right now tuesday october 15th venus will try neptune absolutely amazing really gorgeous there's going to be some uh this is highly romantic okay this is beyond romantic this is very sensual it's very dreamy again venus your ruling planet that is in scorpio that is your area of partnerships, relationships. So um, the great thing here is there could be something with friendships, with Neptune being in your house of friendships and uh, your social network community, as well as your hopes and wishes and dreams. So this is a lot of great energy, a lot of creative energy here, right? Talking about Neptune, imagination, soaring. I mean, this is all unicorns, Picasso, Banksy, uh, Can't Buy Me Love, whatever it is, right? This is a great day to enjoy the arts be inspired by the arts as well great day for artists if you're an artist but i absolutely love this use it to your advantage okay you could definitely be thinking about like dream trip dream uh job dream you know relation all of that all of that it's a really great day okay thursday october 17th now we get to the full super moon in aries it's the last one of the year uh so uh, super moon now there's something happening around this time on this day. We call it a, uh, you know, grand, it's, it's a cardinal cross, okay? A grand cardinal cross. And that's because the moon is in Aries, Mars is in Cancer, the sun is in Libra, Pluto is in Capricorn. So you see all the, all the cardinal signs, right? They're activated. So what does that mean? It means... Well, it's going to be a strong full moon. <laughs> and it is also leadership energy. That's what cardinal signs are. They're the leaders, right? So take action. Own this moment. Now, what's really interesting about this, what's really interesting about this full moon for you, Taurus, it's in your 12th house. And so the 12th house is, you know, it's kind of nebulous, right? So it's things beyond the physical plane. It's intuition, okay? Even healing. Healing. I'll talk about that later. Chiron is conjuncting this. Uh, so healing, you could have do a lot of healing work and self-healing around this time. Uh, it's also subconscious. You could be unrooting things from the uh, subconscious. But with the aspects having to say, you may be, you know, there may be circumstances that make you, you know, face some fears. OK, 12th house is also hidden enemies. There could be someone there where you're just like, I realize you are not 
on my side, you know, um, or it's, you know, 12th house is also, you know, there's a sense of isolation. You may want to be alone and be with your thoughts around this time as well. All right. So just keep that in mind. The other thing that I really want to really highlight for you, really highlight for you, self-sabotage is part of the 12th house. So this is a time where if there's anything that you're doing that you know that you shouldn't be doing, we're just like, I recognize this. It's not part of my journey. Leave it in the past. Okay. Work with that energy. Leave it in the past because this is a full moon. I mean, it's opposite the sun square Mars. Uh, the sun is squaring Mars uh, opposing Pluto. I Again, that tangle of planets. And it is um, as if these planets, these really powerful planets are doing like a dance off. Okay. This really intense dance off. All right. Dancing with the planets. And they all really want to win. They will do anything to win. That's, that's this type of uh, a lot of egos at play. Okay. So again, emotions heightened around this time power trips power struggles you know these planets to put on their aviators uh, they're they're ready to go all right so people can say things they don't mean people can get frustrated about the tiniest things the tiniest things around this time so uh like uh you know someone took you know the last m m whatever it is it's just like and then they do the uh the angry footloose dance, uh, like, ah, like this, it, or maybe like nobody clapped when you chopped open the coconut. Does anybody get that reference? Anybody see the season premiere of Survivor? I'm a, a Survivor super fan. Anyway, that's the thing. It's the thing. Emotions can run high is all I'm saying. Okay. So remember you were made of energy, Taurus. Everything is made of energy. All right. That's not just hermetic principles. That is quantum physics as well. That's Albert Einstein, right? So when I say everything's made of energy, that is your thoughts, okay? The words that come out of your mouth, you're speaking them into existence, all right? So just remember, emotions are neutral, all right? Think about the word emotions, break it down to its etymological root, emotere, energy in motion. And so it's your vibrations, it's the energy that you put toward this high frequency energy, all right. That's going to serve you best. And so because we're talking about emotional vibrational frequencies, OK, your experiences are based on the energy that you put out there. All right. So you always want to vibrate at this high frequency. And I talk about this all the time. You've heard about the law of attraction. All right. So don't let anyone get your goat. All right. Or, uh, you know, bull or, you know, you being a Taurus. Uh, it's just this is a time to move toward your higher self. Explore your emotions. Evolve with your emotions. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Maybe I'll say it every weekend. Your future self is watching you right now. You have the karmic journey, okay? You have a karmic journey. Take the karmic journey that you deserve. Take the uh, Be on the karmic journey that you want to be on, okay? Uh, and, you know, the fact that we are approaching Mars opposite Pluto, I'll obviously talk about this more in, in November, but I have to bring it up now. And because Mars is exalted in Capricorn, not a lot of people know that Mars is exalted, like in, you know, throne and everything in Capricorn, but Pluto's there. And so Mars is looking at Pluto and he's like, he's already feisty. He's angry. He's been in cancer for, you know, um, almost two months now. He's angry. He's like, Pluto, you're in my house. Get, get out of my house. And so there's the not seeing eye to eye, these two very powerful planets, Mars being very impatient, very antsy, very uh, around this time, okay? He can't wait to get to Leo, and he will soon, okay? But we're still working with these energies for now, okay? With that said, around this time, there also may be something with travel. Mars in your third house of, you know, short distance travel, and then Pluto and Capricorn in your ninth house, long distance travel. So you see the two travel houses activated for you around this time. There may be something with travel. You may be planning a trip, not seeing eye to eye with the person that you are planning this trip on. You know, they, you know, you want to go to the Maldives, you know, they want to go to, uh, you know, the San Diego, like, you know what I mean? Like they're just, and it just turns into this big thing. Remember just Stay frosty, be cool, handle things with grace. You're going to be fine, okay? It's all about your frequency. Um, I do want to remind you, I have Mars in Cancer, okay? So I know that it's not, Mars is not great in Cancer, but from the very first breath that I took 
I've worked with Mars and Cancer energy. Okay, so I am living proof. You can learn how to use this energy to your advantage. All right, so trust your intuition. You're going to be great. You're going to be fine. A lot of things are going to be illuminated for you uh, around this time, around this full moon. That's what full moons do. And again, a lot of it could just be powerful insights you have because it is your 12th house. Um, and you could feel it days before, days after. It is a super moon, but it's a strong one, right? So at the same time, remember, full moons bring completion, culmination, turning point. And so uh, think about what happened for you beginning of, uh, you know, April 8th. OK, so April 8th, when we have the new moon, total solar eclipse in Aries. All right. What were the changes happening in your life? Because this is the corresponding full moon where it is that the cycle's ending. We're moving into this new cycle. And I want that to be the keyword for you. New cycle. Right. With this ending. All right. This is a full moon in Aries. Aries kicks off the Zodiac wheel. All right, so there could be something here that's actually really special for you, really nice for you, something enterprising, entrepreneurial, right? We're talking about Aries. Uh, something invigorating for you. Aries is assertive energy. Use this, use this, okay? Uh, diplomatically, of course. Now, uh, Jupiter is actually in a really good spot during this full moon, all right? Trining the moon. And, you know, I did say last week, Jupiter's not going to have any other aspects, but Jupiter is detriment and also, uh, you know, retrograde at this point. And all the other aspects are just a lot stronger. Okay, so sure, there is like this wonderful Jupiter aspect and Jupiter is really striving to do, you know, bring you that blessing and abundance. So a lot of y'all will feel it. Okay, a lot of y'all will feel it. All right. And that can have to do with like money, uh, income, finances. It is your second house. It could also, you know, self-worth, self-value, something that brings that confidence, right? Carnal energy, confidence. Uh, but there is, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a great aspect with Uranus to say, you know, moon training. So there's a lot of underlying great aspects that are happening too. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right. You can make this work for you. You can absolutely make this work for you. Uh, there's spend some time like thinking outside the box too, especially with Uranus here. Remember Uranus is like breakthrough energy. Uh, and just really, really, again, having these power powerful insights moving forward. Key, key thing for you, Taurus is that healing aspect. This is a grateful mood for healing because like I said, Chiron is conjunct here. Chiron, like the wounded healer. And so, uh, it, again, Chiron, you know, being in Aries as well. So, uh, all that 12th house energy. All right. So really good time to reflect, uh, you know, remove things from the subconscious. You're like, I don't want to, you know, think about this anymore. And I'm done with this. Uh, you know, feel that empowerment. Okay. Feel that empowerment. All right. Now Venus will sex out Pluto that same day. Uh, big, this is really strong energy. I mean, Venus is having this, this is happening at 29 degrees, right? Uh, critical degree it's strong it's strong Venus is having this one wonderful last moment with Pluto before moving into Sagittarius this is such great powerful energy flow very 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 nice regarding relationships finances money shared resources empowerment but also something could be really great here with like people overseas travel publishing broadcasting higher mind as well okay spirituality remember there's going to be it's, it's a very spiritual week for you okay so uh really be in touch with your you know higher mind around this time and just feel that empowerment energy now you see venus will then move into sagittarius so venus and sagittarius Sagittarius first it will be here until November 11th and Venus is great in Sagittarius it's pleasure seeking it's gaining wisdom it is carefree optimistic really fun all right it is a time where you may be taking open to taking chances risks being a lot more spontaneous travel yeah big thing for y'all now uh really highlighting relationships okay even like business partner finance that you know shared resources this is your eighth house personal transformation so i feel like this is just going to be really nice and you see this is so much water energy right emotions it's an emotional week even a little bit of earth here but even still that sagittarius bringing that fire it's going to be it's going to be nice okay gonna be nice so uh and you could have some money moments by the way all right over the weekend with the uh, moon moving into gemini so uh, yeah, and the moon is going to be in your sign, too. You know, moon's exalted in your sign. That's going to be toward, uh, what day is that going to be? So that's going to be, um, you know, well, it's after the, you know, full moon in Aries. So, uh, 
Yeah, just like over the weekend, and then it moves into uh, Gemini over the weekend too. So you get that split there. So I, I you're gonna love the weekend. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on for you, okay, Taurus, for the week of October fourteenth to the twentieth. This is for Taurus and Taurus rising and Taurus moon. If you want to read for any other placements in your chart, you are absolutely welcome to. Okay. Taurus, so, wow, wow, what a week, what a week. Um, I do a traditional call to cross spread, offers the best overview if we, uh, you know, for a weekly reading, yeah, yeah, and if we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Secondly, Taurus, y'all are amazing, thanks so much for being here. Uh, yeah, and try not to, like, again, like, overdo things this week, and I'm kind of, like, living proof, you know, a lot of y'all may know that I've been, I had a moment, and I had to de-stress, and I, you know, had to, uh, spend, you know, I had to just take it easy, okay, after my injury and, and whatnot, so, uh, and I'm still recovering, so thank you for all your comments and kind messages, they're still coming in, y'all are amazing, Taurus, let's, let's get down to business, okay, so let's see what's going on for you. Don't even, don't even do this to me, Taurus. You, 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 you. Listen, I knew that, you know, you're Tauruses. You're going to own this week. You're going to own this week. You're going to take charge. I knew it. You're, you're going to be absolutely fine. Okay. Just because, you know, even the fact that we have these aspects as these really strong aspects, again, you can, as long as you're, you can, you're fine. You're going to be fine. You're good. You know that here. Now let's get started. You got the nine of swords. In your past, okay. So there you go. You had a lot in your you had a lot on your mind. All right, you had a lot on your mind. I wouldn't be surprised. You have all this, you know, uh, approaching that full moon in Aries, but also just the energies that you've been going through. You've had a lot of new things happening in your life. You had a lot of things activated in your, you know, uh, you know, sixth house everyday activities as well. Things could have been really busy for you. There was like some, you know, we eclipse season was with with those strong energies, right? So. Uh, but looking at this, there could have actually been something that had to do with like affected your self-worth, like your self-value, maybe like really, you know, kind of like had an emotional impact on you that then went like up here. It is a lot of store stack over his head, but it does feel like there's someone else involved. Okay. So it could have been a decision that you made, uh, or someone else made and it just like, ah, what's going on? Like, uh, so, um, really good to if you f are still feeling that work with those energies the whole point of this card is pull the uh, swords out one by one one by one okay uh take your time all right you want to be able to feel that comfort moving forward again um could be at a place where you're just overthinking over analyzing but i do feel someone else was involved here okay it could just not been seeing eye to eye with someone all right so have that moment of like let's make that up and it just seems like you're going to be a really good place. You got the sun and the heart of your spread. When was the last time that happened for you? I mean, like, y'all are amazing. Uh, you're going to be good. I mean, you got the sun, okay? Talk about, like, life force here, right? This is uh, vitality, health, abundance, optimism, opportunities, all of that, all of that. A lot of these aspects this week are going to bring opportunities, too, okay? So really great, really great. Use them. Use them. Uh, the sun, I mean, like, what can I say? Uh, you're great. You're great. This is uh, really nice. It seems like there is this. Uh, I think. It, yes. Yeah. Thinking about your last week's reading, like really big rebirth energy, like renewal energy. It's coming up again. Um, and you know how he's talking about high vibrations and vibration vibrating at a high frequency. You can even see the vibrations here coming from the rays of the sun. OK, so. A lot of victory here too. Achievements. There, you're good. You're absolutely good. There's a sense of like freeness. Like, wow. Now you got the temper. You got temperance in your challenge area. All right. Just it's more just that balance. Okay. Just working with that balance, especially with their day to day. Um, that could be a thing. Okay. So remember all this Libra energy that has been really strong. Really strong aspects with Libra. All about that balance. All right. So internally too, mind, body, spirit. Okay. Let's work on that. All right. And don't remember this is a week where you want to work you know go at a steady place don't you know it can be a little like feels a, moments where it may feel a little bit like quick standy a little bit and so don't try to like run through that okay because this is moderation self-restraint as well so there may be some moments this week you're feeling like oh things are going too slow let, let me you know what i mean like or maybe like or things are going too fast. Things are going too fast. There's too much happening. Okay, so find that inner balance because that's going to take, you know, bring that comfort in terms of like your physical world, like what you are putting out there as well. Okay, uh, so that's uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right, this is all part of your personal transformation, right? Now, you've got the 
because temperance is attributed to Sagittarius, which remember rules your eighth house of death and rebirth and cycles and transformation. Okay, so be part of this transformation. Really have it. I mean, you look, uh, you got the three ones in your, um, and then um, the world in the root of your spread. So uh, you, it changes, big old changes. You want it. You want it. The three of wands. You know, some of y'all are thinking about planning trips, taking trips. Can be like family stuff too. Um, but yeah, there's this just, you know, it is three, one, two equals new reality, right? There's uh, uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm getting a big uh, energy of like, it's mostly like the headspace. Like, yeah, it's like so much is cleared up here, okay? Um, and now I have this vision or I'm set out to do this and I'm, I can't wait to explore this. I can't wait to start this. Like, that new energy feeling feels really strong. This is actually an Aries card, by the way. All right. Uh, sun and Aries. Um, so really nice. All this potential wants, even creative energy, really, really big. A lot of work stuff, work maybe on your mind. Yeah. You got the world. All right. So you got the world and the rootier spread. There you go. There you go. That's uh, really amazing. So the world, uh, we've come to the end of the major arcana. You know, there is a dancing figure who is dancing for a reason. Okay, so be very proud of yourself. It, just, again, thinking about your last week's reading, remember, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, what? That was crazy. So I'm not surprised you got the world. All right. So, yeah, big changes happening in your life. So it just feels like this matter of, like, okay, I'm on this new journey, this even, like, personal, personal, like, journey, and then, this renewal and uh, refresh and uh, the world, the end of the major arcana, like coming to the end of like the fool's journey. This is amazing. This is amazing. So there is something that you're moving into. It's something that you're looking forward to, too. I mean, there's just this vibrancy here. You've got the four ones in your future. I mean, like, yeah, you're good. There's so much to celebrate. This is a card of joy. This is, I mean, you even see the couple here. Remember, you, I say y'all have like partnerships, energy, can be work, can be career, just one on one commitments, right? Look at them. Look at them. Okay. So, yeah, proposal, marriage, uh, you know, promotion, starting your own business, whatever it is, there's a moment to celebrate. There's, this is the hurrah card. Okay. Huzzah. Huzzah. All right. So, Big moments could even be like having a baby. I mean, there's just so much. There's so much growth here. There's so much like really great health here. This is just wonderful. This is really wonderful. Okay. Um, I mean, like it's all about your mind power, right? It's all about the mind power. Is that vibration? Okay. Because you even see you're going for the three of wands and the four of wands, like in your future, like manifest. Yeah you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. It's like, I don't even have to tell you, like, y'all are on a mission. Let's get to your staff. Torrets, oh my dilly days. Y'all are amazing. Um, if you like this reading, it would be great. If you like, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, y'all are amazing. Tell me what's going on. What, what is this new stuff happening for you? Very excited for y'all. Big, 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 big. And, you know, uh, I don't want to like, uh, well, I'll tell you now. In November, when we kick off November, we do have a new moon in Scorpio. Okay, so more partnership energy, new moons, new beginnings, new like, yeah. So look out for that. Okay, so let's let's do it. Okay, so yeah, you two thumbs up. I would, you know, I, I would even give you a mic drop, especially for a week like this. You're owning it. You are like when I say you're on a mission, nothing's going to stop you now. You're ready to rock and roll. I mean, you see that here. You see that here. All right, let's get started. Seven of cups. All right. So just know what you want. Just know what you want. That's all it is. Know what you are. The things that you're manifesting, make sure that it's like true to you, like your authentic self. Like you feel it deep down in your bones because there may be some haze there, right? This is, you know, some smoke and mirrors here as well. Uh, just know what you want. A lot of y'all may be going through that process, all right? Of like, what's next? What's next? But like, you know it deep down in your bones, right? And a lot of you are going to feel it here. Um, oh, mm, 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 mm. Okay. There you go. Uh, yeah, I always feel like I have to entertain you while I'm drinking something. Now, the hermit in your uh, external factors area. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, the hermit. The, you know, the wizard, the wise man, right? This is someone who, you know, when you think about medieval times, thousands of years are like, 
well, hundreds of years ago. Um, it is someone who people would track for like days and weeks to receive that sage wisdom from the hermit. And it seems like you're receiving it this week. <laughs> you're receiving it this week. It's just really nice. It's really wonderful. I think there's going to be someone who is very helpful and, you know, even soulful, someone who just, you know, gives you the sage wisdom, uh, someone who is sparking that spiritual growth in you as well. I just, there's a lot to learn from, you know, the hermit. So I really love this for you. And again, for a lot of y'all, it could just be you going deep too. And that could be like fueling you with, you know, the seven of cups showing up as well, like really going deep to like, what do I want? Right. That's what he's doing. Connecting with that light inside him. Okay. Now for that wisdom, love that wisdom. Eight of cups. Yeah. A lot of y'all definitely. Yeah. Do it go after your dreams the things that you want toward your finish line your path to enlightenment all right all of that with that eight of cups energy here okay do it no turning back no looking back a lot of y'all want to leave something move into i'm you know i'm getting more of like this new area in your life new chapter in your life um but some of it is like this you know there's a sense of it's almost like surrendering something that nothing's really wrong with it but you know something's better Right. So do that. And some of y'all, uh, if you feel that there is like this fear, this doubt of like, what is in the future? Like, you're going to be fine. Like, you don't have to do that. You've got the sun. You got the four of wands. You're going to be clearly all right. You got, you know, Yoda, here, you know, like the Yoda of tarot, like giving you like really giving you that pep pep talk, you know, moment like you got this. You got this. Follow the light inside you. Okay. Now, lastly, you got the chariot. You're good. You're good. I mean, this is like determination. This is determination. Great. This is willpower. This is confidence. This is saying, I'm not looking back. I'm not turning back. I'm moving forward. And I've learned a lot on my journey. Okay. Learned a heck of a lot on my journey. And I'm using that to empower myself to move forward. Balance any dualities in my life okay being in control of that okay you're good you're absolutely you're you're great here you're great um are y'all some of y'all getting like doing like road trips or getting new cars or something like that too that may be happening Taurus, y'all are amazing uh i don't even i mean like you don't even need like this is clear as day you're on a mission you've got this blast of the sun and the heart of your spread the sun all that light shining all those dark shadows out of your life like this is big you got something to look forward to you are like you're good you're good you're great um you're great. You're great. Okay. So Taurus, uh, you're definitely going to own this week. I love that, that empowerment energy. All right. So thanks so much for tuning in next week. We will talk more about, uh, we move into uh, Scorpio season. We have a lot of other, we have a lot, a lot of stuff happening next week. You know that. All right. So we'll talk about that next week, Taurus. And if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments, tell me what's going on and I will see you next week. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.